Hi guys, so you join me here today and we're at the Oaks at Sesse and today we're actually on Willows Lake. So Willows is actually a specimen lake, holds some big carp, but not only does it hold big carp, it holds big silvers. Got some proper quality roach in here, probably one of my favourite lakes on the venue to be fair and I do quite well on here in the matches as well and today I thought I'd come down, give you a run through how I approach a typical session, what I do, how I go about it and ca hopefully catch some good quality roach along the way. Hope you enjoy. So I've just finished plumbing up in my peg and I found a couple of good areas that I'm going to target today. Main species that we're going to actually target is roach, some quality fish in here, decent stamp roach, round pound mark, hopefully we should get one of them today for you to have a look at. So as you can see we've got a nice big willow in front of us, definitely going to hold some fish on there, it's main feature in this peg so that's where I've pitch, um, picked a fish. Sorry. I've got a line on the bottom there where I've fed some ground bait and I'm going to loose feed over the top and then I've got a line just to my left here, I've got like a little island quite close so I'm going to put a bit of bait in there and hopefully catch a few fish there for you as well. Let's get going and see how we get on. Right, so I just kick started my swim with a little ball of ground bait. Ground bait that I'm actually using today is one that I'm out field testing so it's still in the early stages. As with everything from Preston and Sonu it goes through rigorous um, field test before it actually get released onto the market so we'll see how that one gets on and if it's any good it'll be reaching you in the next year or so. So I've literally single maggot, got a 4x12s maggot tapered at the bottom just because I am loose feeding maggots so the chances are that I'm going to catch them through the water. Swing that out lay it in and then just hold on to my float while the, the rig does its thing. Just loose feed a few maggots over the top. Then just hold on to my float. There we go, sit and wait. I don't think it'll take too long to start catching it. has warmed up quite a bit lately so Fish should be quite active. Not like in the depths of winter when you can be waiting up to an hour or so for a bite. Hopefully it shouldn't take us that long. A slight indication there. With me loose feeding maggots as well through the water. I do think the fish might come up in the water eventually a bit later on in session. I've got a couple of shallow rigs set up for this already so anticipating that's what's going to happen. Oh, there we go. a little skimmer. So, a nice start. I tell you it's going to be full of roach and we go catch a little skimmer. Let's change my maggot. Single maggot. I'll go a white one this time, eh? why not? This repeat process. Ship out. So nice to be able to just fish in a jumper. Hold that rig in place and feed a few maggots over the top. Probably noticed I'm feeding a few just to this corner island as well. Might not even get a chance if this line's really good, but it's nice to have a couple of lines set up somewhere to go. This goes if it is actually a specimen like this, so like if I hook a carp or a carp comes in and disturbs the swim, it might put the roach off a little bit. So it's nice just to have a, another area to target. Just keep trickling them maggots in. Draw fish into area. Just 
little tiny indications it's dead important to dot your float right down there we go that's a little indication there another fish on There we go. I'm a nice fish. I think it's a little hybrid that. Yet to catch the roach, eh? I reckon this time, this time, guys, is going to be the roach. Going to have a great big one. Come back with a little perch now, what? Not a bad start, catching a few, so we're doing, we're doing all right. A few fish there. And it'll only get better as well, I reckon. Repeat the process, lay the rig in, hold on to it. Get my pinch of maggots. Oh, it was a little bit short then. They're better. Oh, look at that, they're getting faster, guys. What's it gonna be? A bit like a species, isn't it? Wasn't meant to be. I reckon a roach, this. I think it's a great big one. Oh. So we'll land this one. Oh, it is, it's a great big roach, guys. Look at him. Come on. I'll hold him up for you. Look at that, that's the sort of fish that we're talking about. Quality them. How can you not like them? Look at that, awesome. Right, we'll leave it there for now then guys and I'll see you again soon. Now that is what you call a roach guys, look at the size of him. Don't think I've had one that big out of here before, mega that is. To be fair though, I have just been getting a few indications shallow as well. Well, as if the fish is shallow, I'm still on bottom, but I'm going to give it a go now. I don't think I'll beat this off at bottom, mega that is. So, as you just seen, I had that roach well over a pound here. Definitely one of the biggest I've had out of here. I was well shocked when he came up. I thought, bloody hell, what's that? Um, I caught him on bottom. But as I said before, we're getting indications, missing bites, definite signs that fish are up in water. So I've just picked up my shallow rig. Go out, pretty confident we'll catch one. Like I say, I've been feeding it while I've been on bottom and I'm starting to get more and more signs now that there's fish up in the water. So I'll pick up the shallow rig. Let's see if we can catch a couple. Just lay me rig in. Feed some maggots. Oh, fish on straight away. That's what we like to see, guys. At number three, doing its thing. Lovely elastic for this sort of fishing. You do get it sometimes where you're just holding on to it and the fish actually pull the elastic out. Lovely fish. Not bad stamp then. You're catching them that fast anyway. Let's put another maggot on. that elastic you want to make sure your elastic at the end is inside the top kit and it's quite tight 
so when you do strike it hooks them sometimes if you've got a bit of elastic dangling out you don't always connect with the fish same again lay the rig in so when fishing for roach shallow it's not like fishing for f1s where you want to slap your rig in and make a noise to attract them you literally want to lay the rig in hold on to the float oh we've got another one there already and it's the fact of making the maggot imitate one of them that you lose feeding so your shots are spread out you hold it and literally it falls through same pace as what a maggot would that you're offering got so three offerings and bang that's how it's done Another nice fish, plenty of quality fish in here. Look at him, might even have to get him on, pull her on free laggy. Ooh. Look at that. Awesome fish they are. I'll catch one more and then I'll run you through the actual rig that I'm using and the setup. You see. But not better than catching fish when they're like this lined up for you and work that as I say just put the side puller make sure my elastic's tight in end so I connect with fish ship out lay my rig in so not flick it in lay it in pick up my maggots Fire and round float. Oh, there we go, another bite. Solid out there it is now. It's all about being in a rhythm. So, literally, that's it. Ship out, flick some maggots in. Put your rig through them. So your maggot on the hook's imitating them going down. There we go, another decent roach. Got to get him on puller again. What's going on here? Pull her in on a free. Bang. You can see how you get decent weights of these sort of fish here, can't you? Look at that for another clonking roach. Dying to get back out, but I'll give you a quick run fruit rig. I'll show you what I use and how. So first of all, you'll probably notice got a white short kit so the short kits obviously come in black as well white's just one of them confidence thing does it work does it not who knows who cares i'm confident at using white mainly for silvers f1s don't bother me as much but with silver fish obviously you're fishing from in winter clarity drops out at water i just think everything else is a bit more visible it's also the perfect length for me free elastic through a full top kit it can be a bit stretchy and through this obviously i've got it on a side puller as well so it just makes it that bit it just seems all to work dead right oh 13 mainline got a small f1 not an f1 actually it's a, a chanty obviously it came bristle so it's dead sensitive and with that i've just got literally a couple of droppers and then hook length these are the sfls but i tie these myself as they're in 08 they're not the pre-tied and then a size 18 hook. Simple as that, does the business. Get yourself on it, guys. There you go guys, had an awesome day's fishing to be honest, caught plenty of fish, lots of big quality roach, 
just get this one in and then we'll take a look at what I've caught. There we go. Brilliant days fishing. Small one to end on, but the amount of quality roach we've caught has been unbelievable really. Hope you've liked watching this video and I'll bring you plenty more, but for now let's have a look at what we've caught. Right guys, as you can see, we've had an awesome day's fishing. Well over, I'd say, 30 pound of roach in here. Obviously a customary tench. Look at the size of some of these bad boys. Look at the size of him for a roach. Quality. Hope you've enjoyed the video, picked up a few tips along the way. Like and share and I'll bring you plenty more. Cheers guys.